Fox 40's Devin Negretti is live with what you'll need to know. Devin? Bree, the doors are open and ready to welcome the community for this public meeting on the levy systems tonight. What does it mean for you guys, you know, like even though you haven't been here for the whole 25 years doing it, but, you know, just to have this kind of honor for athletes who are out there and go to compete on even bigger stages. The water is ankle deep and whenever I keep walking, it can get all the way up to my knee. 10 will hear the importance of having the address in this building specifically and from members of the legislature on their thoughts of the proposal. We're standing in front of the art gallery here at Binghamton High School and I'm joined by Larry Kasson. He's the event organizer for tonight's event. And can you tell me a little about some of the honorees out here in deposit? Not only did the flooding cause issues on 2nd Street, but also created this pond in neighbors' backyards. They say this has been an issue for years. When I spoke to the mayor, he said he's aware of the problem, and later this week, he's going to talk with the county about finding a solution. However, not only is this an eyesore for the people who live here, but they say it's bad for their yard and even worse for their health. Eroded ground. 16 rail cars derailed from the tracks and the smell of diesel fuel. This is what neighbors woke up to early this morning. We could smell the diesel fuel and you know by then it had been on the news that the train had derailed in the middle of the night. Cindy White was lying in bed when she heard an unusual sound just after 2 a.m. There was this bang. The derailment happened parallel to State Route 17 near Cindy's front yard. The cause? Investigators in New York Southern Railway say heavy rain and flooding washed out the railroad, but the derailment has created an environmental issue for the river. The problem we're finding is the river is moving so fast and so quickly, we don't have a good mechanism to control or stop it from where it is. So we're, we're addressing it as best we can at the source. But we're concerned. Anytime you have a petroleum product introduced into a river as high quality as this, with the kind of fish we have here and the kind of ecosystem we have here, you know, it's cause for great concern. However, Matt Franklin with the Department of Environmental Conservation says not to worry. The DEC plus the railway are working to fix the issue. The, the train company has hired an event, environmental company to start the remediation. The first thing it was removed any of the product from the leaking engines and now they're addressing any other product that might be around in the general area of the engines. It takes a bit of, you know, working closely together to make sure that we're not interfering with their operations and they're not interfering with ours. Reporting in Delaware County, Devin Negretti, Fox 40 News. Speedy Fest is more than just home to Speedy's, other food, music, and hot air balloons. It's full of family traditions, and there's one that's continued for more than 40 years. Take a look. 40 plus years later, our family's still flying balloons and, and loving uh, sharing the sport with everybody. A sport that started for Peter Griswold when he was just two years old. My mom and dad took a, uh, they were adventurous people. They took a balloon ride for their anniversary one year. But it didn't stop there. And my dad got about 20 feet in the air and he said, where do I sign? He was just immediately taken by it. The colors, the sounds, just being able to kind of get away from everything and get in the air. Peter and his brother Scott started flying at 14. At 16 came the pilot's license and 18 the commercial pilot's license. For us, it's carrying on a family legacy and uh, being part of a, a unique community and we love sharing. The Syracuse natives fly in festivals from seven to 10 times a year between New York and Georgia. But there's one in particular where they keep the tradition alive and really call home. Binghamton is kind of a second hometown for us being so close to Syracuse. Uh, we love flying balloons here. It's a beautiful area to fly balloons in and uh, we love the event. I'm Dev Negretti reporting live at Binghamton University.